Hello everyone and welcome, it's Shanna. Now today we're using this calls for confetti, Easter egg dyes and stencils. And I'm just gonna be using the stencils and I'm actually just gonna use this largest one. And I'm gonna get it laid down on my card base and try to get it lined up nice and neat. And I'm just trying to center it and make sure I've got everything nice and neat. And I'm gonna bring in some pink pixie tape and get it laid down on my mat. Now this is my first mistake. I probably should have cut the paper bigger than the stencil so that I could have taped the paper and the stencil down. Instead I've just got my stencil tape down and I'm, it's going to create some problems as we move on. So I'm just going to bring in some of my distressed oxide. I think I've got speckled egg and prize ribbon that I'm going to bring in. And I've just got my blending brush and I'm just going to, I'm grabbing two. I want the one for the speckled egg and then the one for the prized ribbon. So I'm just going to get some ink on my brush, blot it off on my glass mat, and just start stenciling. I'm thinking I want just a light blue on um, this first layer of my egg, and so I'm just using the speckled egg for that. And I'll just kind of go back and forth and over it quite a bit until I get it how I want it. And this will just continue on for a minute. Now this video is actually kind of out of order. Um, I had done another video with this calls for confetti using this dye that's not going to air until this weekend and it was my first one. And then I decided I didn't use the stencil so I'd like to bring it back to my channel and use it and I'm actually um, airing it before the other one. So um, I'm going to take this prize ribbon and just blot it. It's quite a bit darker. And I'm just trying to get a darker edge. And this is where I should have taped it down better. And so I'm going to get my pokey tool and just try to lift that up so I can move that paper and get it laid down hopefully get it lined up and laid down correctly. So this was the first of many mistakes in making this card, but um, even though I had made many mistakes and done many things wrong, I still can't seem to mess the card up, so that's good. So, so you can see it moves on me again, and this is where if my paper had been larger than my stencil, um, it would have been in place. Now I have remedied this because I did order waffle flour sticky mat and it is will be forthcoming so that will take care of my problem going forward i also ordered their stencil alignment um, base so that's coming so hopefully that'll take care of it now i'm just bringing the speckled egg back in and i'm going to kind of blend it um, in to where it blends out kind of nicely and then I decide that I've kind of covered up my dark, so I'm going to bring my dark back in and I'm going to go around it again. Now, um, typically when I color, I'm going to do it multiple times, so it makes sense that I would blend multiple times as well. So I'm going to call my egg done, and I'm wondering if I've made a mess of my blending because of it moving, and it really did pretty well. I was really su surprised at it. So I'm going to bring in my little alcohol sprayer and just get my mat cleaned off so I don't make a mess out of the rest of my card, hopefully. And I'm going to bring in my splat box. And I'm just going to get this in there. And I'm going to grab a couple of my distressed oxide sprays that I'm going to use. And I'm going to just give it a good splatter. So I've got, um, I think this is called speckled egg too. And I'm shaking it up real good. So that's why I'm off camera. I'm going to get it very well shaken and just start splattering it. And then I'm just going to blot, 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 blot. That's what I do when I use my Distress Oxide sprays. And then I'm going to bring in my green one. Um, I think it's Shabby Shutters. I don't know. And I'm going to give it some good spraying as well. And I'm going to get some pretty good blobs on there. And then I'll just take my paper towel and just blob it again. And I'm real pleased with how that came out. So we'll just blob it off and then I'm going to get that box out of the way and I'm going to get my tweezers because I'm bringing in my 
heat gun and I'm just gonna just do some gentle heating and try to dry that up and I'm trying to just be real careful and not bow my paper too much with the drying and I think that worked out pretty well and then the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring in the die that goes with this stencil set and I'm going to try to get it lined up on there and I'll bring in some pixie tape and tape it down. Now this is my second mistake. I don't get it lined up right. And when I die cut it out, you'll be able to see that. But I'll fix it with some blending. So you can see that white edge around my um, egg there where it slipped or whatever when I was die cutting. So I'm just taking that prized ribbon brush in and I'm just blending around it. And I think it's fine. It Really, it is. And then I'm going to gently pull off this pink pixie tape because I'm going to use this base as well. And I'm taking my prized ribbon blending brush and just blending in kind of a shadow around that egg because I'm going to lay that egg back on top of this. So I've cut that panel down because I want to use some of the, this calls for confetti um, painted paper pad there. And I'm trying to decide, do I want to go with the blue or the green? And I'm going to go with the green. I think it looks better. It matches well. And I'm just doing this um, box pattern that we've got here. I really like this paper pad. And you'll see it in my video over the weekend as well. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it, trying to decide what I'm going to do here. And I've decided that I want a white backer panel for this egg. And just have something between my egg and my pattern paper. So now I'm just going to take my pattern paper to my um, guillotine and get it cut down. And I've just cut it to A2 size, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then we'll just bring in our my score buddy, and I've got a top folding card base here that I'm going to score at five and a half, and um, or yeah, and then get it pressed down, and we'll have our card base, and we can begin assembling our card. So I'm just going to take this um, pattern paper and just get it laid down nicely on my card base. And I've got a big hunk of glue there on my press, so I've got to get that off there so I can glue it up. And we'll get this laid down on our card base. And then we can bring in the fun elements to it. Now the video for this weekend that I made that's upcoming, it'll be a shaker and it turned out really cute. So I'm just showing you this calls for confetti paper pack and um, I it's got a lot of really neat patterns in there. I like it a lot. So I'm going to take my little egg die cut remnant piece and get it glued up and try to get around the edges so it'll lay down nicely. Whoops. And I tell you, I dropped this thing multiple times as I'm trying to make it, I think. Um, if you watch my videos, it seems like I'm always dropping my panel. So I'm just getting this lined up on here, and I've got to straighten it up. I've got a little bit crooked. And we've got our little white edge around our little egg. And now we're just going to bring in some foam tape, I thought, but then I decided to get my fun foam. And I just took the die and just die cut it out. And it cut through that very nicely. And I'm going to lay it down on here and try to get it lined up. And I really think that that foam, fo foam, fun foam stretches when you do it. Because when I flip this over, I'm clear on the other edge, but I've got quite a bit hanging out here. So I'm just going to take my scissors, my nonstick scissors, and just trim that off. And it'll be fine. So now I've got just a full piece of foam backing for this, and I didn't have to use a whole bunch of little strips. I forget that I have that foam, fun foam, and tonight I remembered. So I am just going to um, glue this up and lay this down in that egg center, but it will be popped up, and it will have a nice little shadow around it and add some good dimension to it. Just trying to get it lined up in there nicely and get it pressed down and glued down. And there we have it. I'm just, um, 
I did a little blending there. Now I'm going to lay it on my pattern paper and we'll glue it up. And I'm kind of doing things out of order here. I'm going to bring in, after I get this laid down on here nicely, I'm going to bring in um, the rub on transfer sheet from This Calls for Confetti. And I'm going to get it laid down on here. Now this was another error that I made. I uh, brought in an, one before this, which I edited out of the video for time's sake. And I laid it down on there and I forgot to turn take the backer sheet off and I was just rubbing away on it and that thing was not sticking to my egg. And um, of course I messed it up. Some of it stuck to the backer sheet so I couldn't reuse it. But this was actually a better size for this egg. So it was a happy mistake that I had done that. Um, so anyway, this um, card, I made a multitude of errors, but um, still didn't seem to mess it up too bad. I was pleased with the end result. And I think this gold rub-on transfer looks really good on here. And you'll see it just pulls off like a dream, and it looks fantastic. So I love it. Um, and this is just the second time I've tried it. The, week it or the video that'll run this weekend was the first time I've done a rub rub on transfer and this was actually my second one now you'll see i'm bringing in these gold um, embellishments and this was my next problem um, the back came off of them and i thought well i can still use it i'll just add some glue and i start laying these down on there and i realize that when the back came off i lost the gold element to these embellishments and it takes me a minute. I think I get three of them down and I go to grab the fourth one or maybe it's the third one that cues me in. I don't know. But I realize that they look different. Yeah, it's the third one. And I'm like, wait a minute, this looks different. And I'm like, it's because it's lost their, its gold backing. I'm still fiddling around trying to get that third one laid down. And then I'm looking at it and I'm like, that doesn't look right. So I just start pulling them off. And I'm like, I want that gold look on there to match my rub on transfers. So I just rub it off, rub the glue off, and I start grabbing some more, trying to make sure that that gold backing lifts with it. And they do with the rest of them. I don't know why the first two, that gold backing to it didn't come off. But anyway, so this was my other calamity of errors that happened with my card. And then I'm going to put a couple on the bottom. And ultimately, I'm really pleased with how this card turned out. I love the elements. I love that rub on transfer. I love the um, pattern paper. And the stencil was fun. I don't do a lot of stenciling on my channel, so I thought it'd be fun to try. So I'm going to get these other ones cleaned up and get them out of the way. And this will finish off my card if I can get these things unstuck from my desk. So I think this card turned out really cute. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care.